So in this video we're going to be learning how to send emails using PHP. We're not going to be using the standard PHP mail function because to use that function you have to have a working mail server running on your computer and it's also quite low level. We're going to be using a special class that was created just for this purpose called PHP Mailer. It's very popular and what it allows you to do is it allows you to send emails by connecting to an external service such as Gmail so it saves you having to run a mail server yourself. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is download this library so we're going to go to clone or download and we're going to click download zip. Now what we want to do inside this folder is we want to copy all the files, create a folder here, call it PHP Mailer, and we'll paste them in there. Now what we want to do on this page is we want to put in the PHP code to run that class and send an email. To send the email we're going to be using a Gmail account, we're going to be using one I just created here. It's socialnetworkmail2 at gmail.com. It's a special Gmail account I just created especially for this series. And you can see here are the three emails I have in the inbox, but what we're going to be looking at is the sent mail folder because we're going to be using Gmail to send emails. So in our file we want to create some PHP tags. And the first thing we want to do is include this PHP mailer autoload class. So we're going to say require once and we're going to paste in PHP Mailer autoload and that's in the PHP Mailer folder just like that. So now that we've included that class we can create an instance of it. So we can say mail equals a new PHP Mailer. Then what we want to do is we want to enable SMTP so we're going to say mail and we're going to run the is SMTP method. Next we want to set mail SMTP off to tell PHP Mailer that we need to authenticate with Gmail to be able to actually send a message. Next we want to say mail SMTP secure equals SSL because to use Gmail we have to connect using SSL otherwise Gmail won't let us send any messages. Next we want to say mail host is equal to smtp.gmail.com and then mail port equals and there are a couple of ports we can use. We can use port 465 or port 587 so we're going to use port 465. Then we want to say mail is HTML because we can send HTML emails using this PHP mailer class. Next we want to put in our username so mail username equals and for Gmail the username is going to be our actual email address. So it's going to be social network2 at gmail.com it's just a test or account. Then we want to put in the mail password and of course the password will be changed after the video. The next thing we can do is we can set some of the email headers. So the first one's going to be who sent the email. So we're going to say mail set from and for the social network series we could say something like no reply at whatever domain name we're using to host the social network so I could say no reply at howco.org and if you want to follow the social network series there's a card up on the screen now. Next we can set the subject with mail subject equals hello world and then we can say mail body equals a test email. And next we can say mail add address to add an address of a recipient which in this case is going to be whoever we send the email to so I'm going to send it to francis at howco.org. So now we've done that we're ready to send the actual email so to do that what we want to do is simply say mail send and before we run that smtp auth isn't a function it's just actually a boolean variable so we're going to say smtp auth equals true and it would be helpful if I put in the username properly it's social network mail 2 at gmail.com so now we're going to try to actually send an email. So here I have a list of all my sent messages you can see that there hasn't actually been any yet if I refresh this page and run this script you can see it thought about it for a while and now if I go back here, click sent, you can see there we have a sent email and you can see there, there is the email there. So that's a really short introduction on how to send an email using Gmail. So using this method you're limited to 99 messages per day. So if you were going to set up a real life social network or something like that and you really wanted to send lots of emails, you would have to pay for it but the setup would be exactly the same. You would just change the host and the username and the password to whatever service you're using. You could even be using Google for that as well. Next we're going to incorporate this into our social network series where we're going to be sending confirmation emails to users whenever they create an account. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit and I'll see you next time.